Google Forms is a free online software that you can use for creating surveys, quizzes, and many more. My name is Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Google Forms. And if you're going to have any questions regards of Google Forms, how you can use it, or some tips and tricks, definitely write it down below in the comments. So without further ado, let's start. To access Google Forms, all you have to do is just write Google Forms in Google, open it, and then go to Google Forms. Then what you have to do, you're going to have some template gallery right here that you can choose from. But what we will do, we will create a completely new one. So let's click here blank. And I'm going to show you how we can do everything. The first thing, I'm going to show you how we can add title and description in your Google Form. So let's close it and you're going to see it here. You're going to see I did form. So I'm going to rename it. Let's say YouTube, your YouTube experience. Experience and form description in this form. I feel your experience on YouTube. And then what you can do is go to top left and also change name of the title. Change the name of your form, the title, which is going to be right here. It will be right here. But of course, you can change it and let's say YouTube journey, let's say. And voila. So this is how we can simply add title and description in Google Form. Now, how we can add or edit questions. So when you would come here to the questions let's say we will start simply what is your name now automatically it changed to short answer and you have option to let's say short answer text you can have it as a paragraph so they're gonna answer with a long answer text or we can have multiple choice and what you can have it's like no only short answer but you can have multiple choices so let's say uh, how much money you make from youtube as a creator, you have option one, zero to 10,000. And I can simply add an option send to 20,000. And I can have 20 to 50,000 a month. Creator. And we have multiple choices right here. So when I would preview it on the top right corner next to the settings, I can see that, okay, how much money you make on YouTube? 0 0.10, 10 to 20, 20 to 50,000. So this is how the multiple choices works. When we go even further, we can have checkboxes. So when I would preview the checkboxes, let me show you. We can have like, okay, I make 0 to 10K and also 10 to 20K. This is just like example how the checkboxes works. This can be really good. Let's say that uh, how did you hear about and you can have like choose 10 to 20K or like choose social media type of platform that when someone is going to fill your form. Now, when we go further under checkboxes, we would have drop down. So again, when I would preview it and let me show you how it looks like, how much money you make on YouTube as a creator, 0.10k 20 to 50k this question will be really great like let me share with you how did you hear about us and let's say i'm going to cancel it cancel it cancel it and then have facebook google search and let's say twitter now when i'm going to the top right and next to the settings preview again how did you hear about us? Choose Facebook, Google search or Twitter. As you can see, this is how it works. Now, when we go even further to drop down, we're going to see the file upload that we can upload or we're going to have the linear scale here. One to five. And I would have like two free and let me show you. How did you hear about us? Two, five. So this works like one is going to be how happy you are and not happy and happy. So I would go to top right and I would click preview and how happy you are 
and I can go, I'm on four right now. So this is what you can do too. So this is how you can simply have a linear scale. Then you can have the multiple choice grid. Then as you can see how happy you are, you can have rows columns. So let me show you how it actually looks like. See that you would have, uh, you can add also columns and work with that. Row two would be happy, not happy, one, two, stuff like that. Happy, not happy. And you can have multiple things here, right? So this is for multiple choices that you would have. Mm, where did you go to school or like whatever, just multiple choice grid. Then you're going to have the checkbox grid, which is also really similar comparing to multiple choice, but people are just like clicking that if it's okay or no to go with preview. Look at this. So this is how we do it. And this is how we can also use the multiple choice grid. Now, when we go also date, this is when you were born question mark and I can go to top right again to preview and see people will choose I was born in uh, 1996 share down below in the comments when you were born <laughs> 1996 August and 21st I'm, I'm Leo and this is when I was born so that's how it works. And then you have also time, the last thing. So you would have time here and I would preview it. And you can simply change. You can simply uh, add a time here. So when you were born and what time. And this is pretty much it. Now, the next thing I want to show you is what you can do. You can also duplicate your question right here you can delete it and then you can also have it required so when i would have here what's your name question mark and the time i'm going to change to short answer and i would have the required i would go to the preview next to the settings look at this what's your name and i would add here marcus and it's required this symbol here means that is required. So this is pretty much how it works. And this is how you can add and edit questions in Google Forms and also how we can have multiple question types. And let's go further. Now I will show you how we can easily add image and video in Google Forms. So what you have to do is simply you can do it right here on your question. And let's say I'm going to upload baby Oda right here and I can add image directly in my uh, question I can make it also smaller so you can add your questions right here and that's how we do it of course you can add on the right side image and upload it that's the second way how we can do it and voila here we have it. So image title, and this was automatically added as a new, as a new title and description. So when you want to add image, it will automatically create uh, and add it right to your text here. And to your next, I would say, next question or next text. And then what you can do is also add a video here. So we would click on a video under the image. And I would add URL. So let me just find some video and I would add Ed Sheeran. I would copy the video, paste it right here, select and voila. Of course, you can make it smaller and you can center align it to center or change it completely. Now, this is how we can simply add a video or how you can add image in Google Forms. But next, what I want to show you is how you can easily add title and description. So we have two options. First thing first, you can add a question by yourself. And then what I can do is to add a title and description without a question, right? 
So this would be just like information for someone. This is something that you see right here. So this is a uh, title and description, and this would be my survey. And that's pretty much it how we can do it. So let me now show you how we can add sections. That's the next thing. The question is why you should actually have a section. Section is really great only because uh, when someone is going to fill the form for you, you don't want him to be bored. And having a section helps with that. My recommendation would be like four or five questions in one section. So let's say that I'm going to what's your name? And I'm going to really fill your name, fill it out like this. Then I would add a different question. How old are you? And this would be uh, the again short answer. And let's say I want to add a section. So I would click here, add a section. And look at this. This is the section two. And now let's say this would be uh, like money. How much money you make? And I would add a question into this next, um, like next section. And after section one, you have option, go to section one, your YouTube experience, go to section two or continue to next section. So we can even like submit form. So let's say money, how much money you make. And let's say this would be question, um, money related questions. No description question would be how much money you make. And I would have, let's say, um, multiple choices. And I would have zero to 10 K zero to 20 zero to 30, like no, like this 10 to 20 and 20 to 50 K. And now what I can have is having required, required, required. And this is how we can easily do it. Now when I'm going to preview it on the top right, look at this. Now when I'm going to fill this, Marcus, how old are you? 24, 25 already. Then I would click next and voila, here I am in a second section. So in this way, having sections is really, really perfect. Changing the theme is really simple. What do you have to do next to the preview? You would see customize a theme. Let's click on it. And here you can have changed the header image. So I would like choose the image here and you have option to choose from the templates, the themes, or you can upload your own or from your photos that you have in your Google drive. Now let's say I'm going to choose like some pretty one, this one, I like this one. And I would click insert and this would be our header. Then I can simply change the theme color. You can of course add a custom color. Let's say I'm going to add green one and everything is green or I can have it. I like this color a lot. So I'm going to leave it like it is. You can of course change the background color. The background color is always changing based on what color you have as a theme you are unable to change that. And of course, the last thing that you're going to see is a font style that you can change from decorative, formal, playful, but I really like the basic one. The basic one is the best one from my perspective. So this is how we can simply change and edit the theme options. Now, when I would cancel it, uh, here we are, and this is how we can do it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how we can actually preview it and then how we can change the settings. So let's go. Now to preview your form, what do you have to do? As I showed many times in this video, you have to click on preview. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You can test it out for yourself before we are going to send it to someone. And then how much money you make and you would click submit. Your response has been recorded. Now what do you have to do is and I would always see the responses right here. See? And we will get to the responses and how to understand them. Also, what I'm going to do, click settings here. And now you can collect emails and response received. What does it mean? Response receive a copy of the response. Then requires sign in. You can limit to one response only. Then respondents can edit after the submit. You can turn it on or off. 
and see summary charts and text responses. So they can see what other were like signing up for. Presentation. You can also show progress bar, shuffle question order, or show link to submit another response. Then quizzes. You can make this a quiz, assign point values to questions and allow auto grading. So you can have also your own quiz. And if you want me to, I can create a tutorial for you how you can create a quiz. And uh, really is great immediately after its submission, later after the manual review. And what the responses can see. So you can have it as a quiz. So this is how we can actually turn it on. So if you're sending it to students or someone, you can have it as a quiz. Like who, what was the best uh, like quiz about Harry Potter? And you can share that, share it to them and have those questions. And this is pretty much it, how we can works. And let's click save. So this is what you can do to settings. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how we can actually send your form to someone. To send your Google form, what you have to do is next to the three dots right here, you have to click send. And right here, you have option to send it through email, or you can simply link it. This is really great if you want to share it on social media, Facebook groups, your school, WhatsApp group, whatever, or have the HTML somewhere on your website. So when I'm going to email it, I can simply add email. Then I can have subject and message. I've invited to fill out the form. You can even add collaborators right here and I can simply click here and send. I can collect emails. Now what I can do also is again click send and let's say I'm going to use it as a link and when I'm going to also shorten the URL, I can have it as a short URL. Then when I would open an incognito window, I'm able to actually fill it out. So what's your name, email, how old are you? How old are you? 25 and how much I make 20 to 50 K. Send. Voila. And of course, if I would go to my Gmail and I would click the three dots, and look at this. Fill out the form. I invite you to fill out the form. Fill out the form. And again, I would add email. Twenty four. Next, and I make zero to ten k submit, and this is how it actually works, and this is how we can send a form. Now I'm going to show you how we can simply work with responses. In the last thing is how you can actually analyze and find responses. So when you would click here on responses next to the questions, you would find all the responses right here. So summary. Who has responded? Email, email. Waiting for one response. Is it this one? I can even send email reminder. But when I'm going to refresh it, I see it right here. What's your name? Marcus, Marcus1. Marek. How old are you? 23, 25. How much money you make? 10. And two were 0 to 10k. And one was 20 to 50k. And this is pretty much how we can do it. So you're always going to see all the responses right here on responses on your form. Now, if you're going to have questions, what's your name? The next question, how old are you? So we can even switch by questions here. And let's say that I'm only interested to see uh, the responses on what's your name and you would find it right here. And then next to the question, you're going to have individual. And individual respond by email here. And this works same as the question. Of course, what we can do, not only see it in Google Forms, you can click on the Google Sheets on the right top next to these three dots. You can also get email notifications for new responses. You can select response destination or download responses. Now let's click here, create spreadsheet. And I can create a new spreadsheet 
or select an existing spreadsheet. So create a new REST spreadsheet, create, and voila, here you would have responses in your sheet, email address, what's your name, how much money you make, and it would automatically fill out based on uh, what people are responding to. And this is pretty much it how we can do it. And this is how we can have your own form. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions about the Google Forms and how we can use it, definitely write down below in the comments. This was a Google Forms tutorial, how to use Google Forms, Google Forms beginner's guide, Google Forms for the beginners, Google Forms tutorial. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.